Hello everybody, all you beautiful, beautiful people. My name is Alex, and uh, today we are hunting for the third Dragon Mask, uh, or Dragon Priest Mask in my collection. Um, first off though, I would want to show you guys this general overview. Um, I played for 56 days, slept for 69 hours. Wow, I sleep a lot compared to how many hours I'm awake. Oh, well. Those are hours I've slept and days I've been awake. Anyways, here's the information. Gold found, gold carried, training sessions, books, barter, persuasions, intimidations, etc. etc. I've been a werewolf for 31 days, so pretty much half of my entire uh, existence in this world. Anyways, uh, we are here at uh, Forelhost. Coral host, or however you want to pronounce the idiot. I'll go with the uh, semi uh, Scandinavian pronunciation, or what uh, sounds the best to me as a Norwegian. As this game is highly, highly influenced by uh, the Viking, uh, Viking era. So Foral host would be the correct way, I believe. What's this? Oh, it's an invisible oh, dragon so guy. What the hell? I never seen anyone like that before. Was he? Oh, he was dead, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. Ancient Nord armor. I haven't seen that before. Wow, that looks really cool. I have to admit, I like the design. I really do. Wow, that is so beast. I'm sort of tempted to bring it with me just for putting it on uh, one of my uh, followers at some point. Wow, that looks beast. Uh, so yeah, uh, let's continue our way down into the creepy area. There's a pressure plate that would trigger this log, which apparently would smash my face in if I wasn't careful enough. Oh, get over here. Uh, there we go. That's how we deal with a ghost in what? What? Dragon Priest Dagger. Wow. The design some of the designs in this game are so freaking awesome. I mean, uh, there's just no uh, no questioning it. I really do love the uh, general theme of this game. Uh, I've always been fans of uh, Bethesda's uh, design team. Uh, uh oh. Uh, even back in Morrowind, their designs and architecture and uh, concept art was just fan fucking tastic. I'll just run through that. Um, ancient Nord stuff. Cool. Cool, cool. Uh, <clears throat> so, yeah, I'm really happy with the. Uh, the theme of this game. I was really happy when they announced that it would be Skyrim, because I knew Skyrim was the sort of where the Nords came from, so to speak. And it would be very Viking themed. And I've always been a fan of the Viking theme, so to speak. Uh, book. Fine Scorn Snow Striders Journal. Okay. Seems to be an alternative quest. Or a side quest, as they're called. <coughs> uh, yeah, I'm not going to bring any of that. So, what else has been happening? Well, uh, I have to admit, I feel a little, a little bit bad about this, but I finally got myself a new MMO. I mean, I played World of Warcraft for many 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 years and I kind of stopped doing that for the past year or so 
Yeah, when Cataclysm came out, it kind of just, you know, died on me. Didn't really feel it anymore. So I stopped playing MMOs, and I recently just got uh, Star Wars The Old Republic, and uh, yeah, I got that like two days ago. So I've been busy playing that, uh, instead of playing Skyrim with you guys. I kind of feel bad about that. Um, if you guys were interested in seeing any um, The Old Republic videos, that wouldn't cut into my uh, otherwise busy gaming schedule, so to speak. Um, because I play it anyways, instead of Skyrim. So, you would get a lot more videos if you wanted that. But, uh, let me know if you want to see any Star Wars stuff. Um, I really do enjoy the Star Wars Steel Republic. It's a very good game so far. Um, I'm like level 13, 12 or 13, I believe. There is a uh, patch or downtime uh, right about now. So I'm uh, recording during the downtime. Wow, I got lucky with that one. Huh. Fancy that. There's a lot of ancient Nord stuff around here, isn't there? Um, not that I'm against it, because, well, I don't know. I do like the design of the ancient Nord type stuff. Let's see, is there any way for me to get back up if I jump down? Oh, well, there's the pathway down there. Could have just looked at that. Damn it. I didn't hit the button fast enough. That's stupid. Silly, silly Alex. Oh well. Iron ore. No, thank you. Get the plasm. And if you can hear that whistling sound, it's the uh, the wind outside. Yeah, there's a pretty heavy snowstorm outside. Um, well, not full blown storm yet, but uh, pretty heavy, pretty heavy snowy weather. <laughs> What's going on here? It's the bouncing wooden ladle and plate and kettle. Hmm. Go, plate. I can make like a boat and slide it down a river or something. That would be fun. Have a boat race with myself. Oh well. <laughs> Forever alone. Kind of are in this game, or generally in the Bethesda games. Uh, while I do supremely enjoy the uh, single player experience they provide, I do miss playing with other people. Oh, hey guy. I really do miss playing with other people. One of the primary reasons I kind of feel don't as much feel like playing Skyrim these days is because I'm a social person well to the extent where talking to people on Skype while playing a video game and doing stuff together is social um, I kinda prefer to do that so I play like The Old Republic and uh, other online games instead I also play quite a bit of um, is it called again? LOL, League of Legends. So also if you're interested in seeing any of that. Or maybe I should just stick to the thing I know people want to watch. Meaning Skyrim. Uh, just know that it wouldn't cut into me making less Skyrim videos. It would just be more videos in general because uh, Instead of playing Skyrim, I play those other games. So, you know, if I made videos of those as well, I would probably uh, just make more videos in general, put them out more often. <coughs> but uh, what was I looking for? Ah, a way out. There seems to be a doorway here. It's holy crap. That scared me. Okay. 
Imperial shield, stupid Imperials. Oh well. Dagger. There's another one of those uh, pressure plates. Kroger. Hmm. Oops. Missing one. Oh crap. I was using the wrong shout. I thought I had a flame. Fire breath shouts. That's on the number seven. I also want to uh, recharge my weapons real quick because uh, I think my mm, main weapon is starting to get a little bit low. So I'll do that and uh, see if I can find any humanoid type creatures. I don't think these. Uh, what is that? I can't see what that is. Oh well. Let's see if I can find any humanoids, creatures. Um, I don't think these Draugr count as humanoids in the sense that it would get captured by my Black Star, but we'll, we'll try it out anyways. Doesn't cost me anything to just swing a pick. Uh, once or twice. See if this works. I don't think this will work. But actually, yes, it did. I think. Let well, Benz. Did it recharge my um? Recharge my black star. Yes, it did. Wow, cool. So I can just uh, use this on the undead people down here. All the ghosts. What the fuck was that? Oh, okay. Too quick for ya, bitches. How do I get in there? By unlocking the gate. But it's a monster gate, so I'm not gonna even bother. Yeah, yeah. He's dead. Okay, let's continue. That's another one. Ciao. Uh, let's see, what is this? Door is barred from the other side. Huh, that sucks. Let's go out the big ominous iron door. Oh, well, that's not one of those. And, uh, yeah. I think I have a bunch of lesser soul gems, or... Smaller soul gems that I'm filling up by you doing this. Might as well. Uh, I can use them to enchant some random, random items later on um, in order to increase my, whoa, to increase my um, enchanting skill, which is also in sore need. Uh, oops. Whoa! Do not see that pressure plate right there. Be careful of that, guys. That was very well hidden. Hmm. I have to be more careful with pressure plates. Seems this place is very much trapped up. If I see anything, ah, uh, of course. Wow, that's a new. That's a new. I have not seen that before. Is that gonna just keep going? Man. Come over here. Walk into the trap. <laughs> oh. I think I need to put something on that pressure plate. Oh, I think I have one behind me. Yes, I do. Thankfully, he was really uh, weak. Let's see, what was the button to pick up items? It used to be Z, but I know that's the uh, shout button these days. Uh, system controls. Sheath, character menu, POW, sneak run. Let's see. Uh, 
I can't find it. Activate, spray, right hand sheath, toggle, character menu, trump, sprint, shout, power, sneak. Do I actually have to go um, get the telekinesis spell in order to do this? What am I doing? I was trying to pull out the healing. Okay, that's the fourth, fourth button. Let's see if I can run past this without dying too much. What is, holy shit! Holy crap! What the fuck was that? Oh my god! What the fuck was that? Okay, that was very much unexpected. There seems to be a whole lot of, of uh, uh, new traps in this place. Uh, for me, at least. I have not seen those before. Okay, so I have a fully recharged axe, which means I haven't gone all the way back. Only partially. I didn't have... I had full of charges on my... Uh, full set of charges on my axe there, so... I think it was just after I recharged... Recharge it. Yeah. There we go. Let's see. There's that guy. And, uh... Let's see. Should be one over there as well. Uh -huh. Thankfully I also switched over to my uh, fire breath before doing that. Let's see... Um, nothing of import in there. I remember this place. The cobwebs. Ugh. Stupid cobwebs. I'll not be picking up this this time around. Oh wow. That hurts you very much. Hmm. Hmm. Try to take him out real quick. Let's see. Can I get past... Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Can I get past these uh, runes? I can only assume they are. Like, um, I think uh, spellcasters get them. Uh, you can activate or throw a rune on the floor on the or the uh, or the walls in order to make them into a trap, so to speak. <coughs> That's interesting. See if I can make it through this without dying. Ouch. So that triggered one. Let's see if I can trigger this one as well. There's no actual point to it, but I'm getting a little bit of healing skill, restoration skill doing that. It's always nice. Let's see what kind of well, master lock. Fuck that shit. Let's see. Need to switch back to my weapons here real quick. Actually, they were immune to uh, frost. The uh, the ghosts were immune to frost, so I'll try the electricity sword instead. Does the same amount of damage, anyways. So. At least for now. Um, next level I'll probably do uh, more points into enchanting and then I'll get like the... Uh, what's it called again? Electricity... Storm Enchanter? Shock Enchantments. And uh, that's what I want for both my weapons actually. Uh, I like the... Lightning... 
I like them lightnings. Yes, I do. There's a pressure plate. Avoid that. Let him trigger it, actually. <laughs> oh, bye-bye now. Just another one. Jump over that. I've never seen a trap with double pressure plates before, either. There seems to be a lot of... Whoa. Like I mentioned, new traps in this place. I wonder if that is randomly generated, or if, it, or if it's like... Uh, is that part of the random generation of a dungeon? And its content? Or is it a uh, preset? So, like, if I went here on level... At level 1, would the uh, mobs be low level and... The traps be the same, or would they be... Weaker, so to speak? There was a trap there. Don't wanna. Holy shit! What the fuck was that? Or rather, where the fuck did that come from? Mm. Well, I'm getting quite adept at swinging my sword here. It's always nice, I guess. Let's see what that does. Yeah, those things. I was kind of hoping that one would fall. I should probably have done that. You guys can remember that when you're uh, going through this place, using this as a guide. <coughs> okay, is this the boss room? No. This is a Draugr White Lord. What the hell? 